I, I grew up out here in West Texas during the Dust Bowl and the Depression. I'm a, I'm a straight, but I'm not narrow. My wife and I attended a church in Kansas City, Missouri in 1977, and there we heard a woman read a letter from a gay son, and she told a sad story how she and her husband were forced to leave a church that they uh, were members of and had been in for some time. And then uh, Mary Lou and I, we really focused on the GLBT situation when we learned to our total amazement that we were the parents of a gay son. And at that point, we decided we needed to get acquainted with some gay lesbian people. We went to Aspen, Colorado to the gay ski weekend in January of, of 1995. We went to Cape Cod on July the 4th for the annual gathering of many, many gay people. And we, uh, we did many other things. That's just two that I can think of right quick. But we wanted to get acquainted with gay lesbian people so we could be better parents of a gay son. I've known uh, two men. They've lived, they've been living together over 45 years. And I think that there is a love relationship between those two men that is just as deep and as strong as the love relationship I had with my wife for 52 years and two days. This movie, sir, this is the best shot I've seen that I really thought could influence the minds of some people who, for heaven's sakes, need to be influenced, they need to be changed. They, they need to rethink what they believe about the GLBT community.